So the sun is out, it's a lovely day. Why not get out on the monkey and go and do the ride and review um, after I've had this bike for a few months now, but the weather has been shocking. So uh, stick around and we'll take it for a spin and I'll give you my thoughts and also detail the upgrades are on it, etc. So stick around. there and welcome back to the uh well i say usual review spot but i haven't been here for a long time because i've been bikeless but anyway i'm back with the honda monkey a bike i've wanted for so long i just think they're so awesome to look at and um yeah they're just good funky bikes this is the 2021 model so this has the fifth gear added from the original i test drove the or test rode the original monkey uh, in black and great bike but i i just felt it was missing that that fifth gear and now with the 2021 model they've added that and uh yeah i think yellow is the best color to get it in now what you're looking at here is not a standard bike there's a number of extras on it let's start at what's well, the back end so that rear suspension um is an upgraded suspension it is adjustable it's not Olin's, they are stickers, just to make it look like it is and make it look fancy. Um, that chain needs to clean, crikey. Um, so yeah, that is an absolute must for the heavier rider because the original spent suspension is so easy to bottom it out. You will That will ruin your riding experience, quite frankly. You'll be bottoming it out all the time. So certainly, first thing to do is get an upgrade on that suspension. We've got a rear tail tidy on the back here. Well, the, the tail's always going to be on the rear. But anyway, we've got a tail tidy on the back there just to sort that out. Otherwise, it's a big plastic thing that comes down hanging over, over the rear wheel. Uh, this has the rack added. You're not going to get a huge amount of stuff on there, but um, you can certainly strap down some bags and things like that. This also has knobbly tyres. So the standard ones are just naturally uh, road tires, which makes sense. But these are knobblies just to give it more of that sort of off-road look. Um, the aftermarket exhaust is hidden behind the original exhaust cover. So if you take that off, there's an aftermarket exhaust in there. The original one doesn't sound too bad, um, but most people will stick an aftermarket one on these. I think because it's a small bike, you probably want to have that sort of that louder sound just to announce your presence so that people know you're there so the stickers there they're obviously uh aftermarket thing um just stick on anything you want people put pictures of monkeys and all sorts on there we have some uh mirror extenders on here again i think that's a must these bits here that's a must for the slightly bigger rider because obviously all you're going to get is elbows otherwise moving around to the front we've just got a cover on the front headlight but of course you can imagine what that looks like if you take it off uh, it's just the, the headlight as well and also fitted here are our heat grips apart from that you're looking at a standard monkey stand, standard color 21 model comes in blue red yellow and i think they no i don't think they do black um but i've always loved the yellow one i just think it's a fantastic color looks awesome so some of the little features on the monkey uh that that's also a, a quad lock there that's that's not standard that's just to mount my phone where's my key what have i done with my key anyway the key these come fitted with uh, certainly in the uk they come fitted with an alarm which is uh, pretty cool um but i've lost the key would you believe no i haven't here it is so let me just show you the the key fob so there's the key fob with your alarm so you can set that unset it so let's set it now two little beeps and then if you move it around it will obviously go off let's let's see if we can actually make that see if we can make it there we go so it's not amazingly loud but it's a deterrent isn't it so we'll now unset that just so it's off something pretty cool about this is when you pop the key in, you've probably seen this before let's pop the key in watch the little eyes on the dash ready gives you a little wink Boop, boop. there you go little monkey eyes for the wink now to fill this up currently with the uh, the good stuff so the more premium petrol it's costing me about five pounds which is nothing and you will easily get well over 100 miles out of that 
current consumption I'm getting on this is 131 miles per gallon, which is incredible. I'm planning a trip to the Isle of Wight from Bristol to the Isle of Wight. It's going to cost me about three pounds in petrol. You can't, <laughs> you can't get much better. Let's hear that exhaust. So let's fire it up. Fire up the Quattro. Uh, in neutral, yeah, so let's. This seat as well is probably the comfiest seat I've ever sat on on a motorcycle. It's so comfy. It's big. You can get all your cheeks on there. Look, it's very soft. You can sit on that for days and you'll be absolutely fine. So there it is, the 2021 Honda Monkey. So it's a 125, obviously. Very light bike, easy to move around, easy to ride. We'll go for a ride in a minute and you can hear that exhaust in action and see what the bike's like. But I have to say, fantastic little machine. I'd recommend anyone getting one of these. So if, if you're, I don't know, if you've done your CBT, this is, this is awesome. What I think, I think they're retailing about 3,800, no, just over 4,000, sorry. Just a smidge over 4,000 pounds. Now, that's a bargain. We're coming up to the summer. This is it's currently April now. So we're coming up to the summer. If you're a commuter, this just makes sense. Don't get on that bus, the loser cruiser. Get on one of these. It's so good. As you can see, it's got no problem keeping up with traffic. I've mean, been around a series of roundabouts and a dual carriageway. No issues at all. You're going to always have someone going slower than you, so. You can even go on a motorway with it, because I have. The trick is to tuck in behind a lorry or, or some sort of uh, larger vehicle, get in that slipstream, let's, let's get a bit f warning. get in that slipstream, um, and you'll easily be doing 65, maybe even nudging 70. <clears throat> Trouble is, if that lorry pulls off or um, goes somewhere, and breaks that slipstream, you are going to be uh, caught by surprise. But now, for general speed of, you know, it was 60, that sort of region, absolutely fine. The acceleration away from the lights is, is really adequate. You'll get a good jump off the lights, so no need to worry about that. So, for just a, a 125 bike, it ticks so many boxes. Tell you what, let's go for a little blast on the motorway. I know there's some road works on, so it's 50 miles an hour, temporary speed limit, but I've got the confidence in the bike to go on there. It's not the biggest, but the exhaust lets people know you're there. So, you know, generally up to speed there, look, we're up to 50 now. That's absolutely fine. So, we're going to join the motorway. Just got to keep your wits about you. Obviously, keep looking around. Those mirror extenders really help. Recommend. So there we go. We're doing 60, and I'm having to call off because uh, we'll go through uh, the average speed check in a minute. But I'm keeping up with traffic, no problem. you can hear that that little squeal from the the tire or the front tire because of the knobbly bits but there's no problem at all here we go here we go oh that exhaust is loud
a look, there you go, it's absolutely fine. I don't feel exposed or anything on this. Uh, any more than you would on any other bike. We're just pootling along quite happily. The 50 mile an hour speed limit helps. There you go, she's having a good look in the car next to me. Ladies love the monkey. So there we go, that wasn't any problem at all. Absolutely fine on the motorway. What would you prefer to get around town on? Honda Monkey or an electric scooter? Surely, Honda Monkey, all day, every day. The digital dash um, can be found a bit lacking in bright sunshine. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up or not. I mean, it's quite a sunny day, obviously. Um, so, yeah, there's a few things I can't see very clearly, for example. Uh, the taco, for example, or the odometer, sorry. I can't really make out the small numbers on there. I mean, speedo, generally, yeah, I can generally see that. I can see it starts with a three, uh, quite clearly. So, yeah, it's just something to consider. You see, I hit the limiter just there. I'll let you know about it when you get to the limiter. Let me see if I can show you. Nah, it's not do it. Downhill, look at that, 61. easy to put where you want it it's very so it's very flickable so you literally just look where you want to go and it will go so it's easy to avoid potholes drain covers whatever it's, it's small enough to be able to do that now we're going up quite a hill here and you have to bear that in mind like you would with any 125 I think but again work the gearbox and it'll be all right but it's holding 50 up the hill quite happily is not about speed it's about having fun I think that's, I think that's what I put it under also if you want one of these bikes you've got to be prepared to be looked at and for people to uh, comment on it ask questions so if you're a little bit more introvert of a person I wouldn't recommend one of these People love the monkey! <laughs> oh yeah. So I'd say like final conclusion is this bike is absolutely awesome. I love it to bits. Um, I recommend getting a few modifications such as number one suspension definitely. If you get one or if you're looking for a used one look for one with the um, modified suspension. If not, I think it's you'd get changed out of 200 quid for it, and I don't think it's too much of a big job to uh, fit it yourself. But this bike is awesome. For around town, commuting, you can't go wrong. Miles per gallon is crazy, so five quid will last you a good 100 and, yeah, what, 130 miles maybe. Um, 
it's it's just so good easy to ride very beginner friendly not intimidating in any way so if anyone's considering getting one of these i'll get one i think they hold their value quite well as well to be honest i mentioned that i'm planning a trip down to yarla white on it so i'll be doing the, the videos about that so stick around if there's anything you want to know about the little yellow monkey then feel free to ask in the comments and I will try my best to answer them for you. But thanks for watching if you got this far. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.